Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Here I have another Louis Vuitton unboxing for you guys today. And if you guys have already seen the title, you guys know what this is. But honestly, I was super, super excited for this purchase. And it's actually been on my wish list for a while now. I did have mixed thoughts about it, which is why I didn't buy it earlier. But now that I have it and I made my decision, I know it was the right decision for me because I've been looking for these kind of, um, th well, this kind of item for a while now. So let's just open it up and show you guys what it is and get into the more, get into details of why and why not. I was going to buy it and having maybe some second thoughts about it. So... This is how you open this, since these are sandals, the box just slides out. So here we have the absolutely beautiful mule plate locket sandals, or mules, whatever you guys want to call them, from Louis Vuitton. Here they are, they're actually so pretty. and feminine looking let me take out the other pair and here is the other pair and these are the mules that i picked up or sandals whatever you guys want to call them from louis vuitton it says louis vuitton paris on the sole it is a leather sole from what i can feel and tell and this is canvas of course and then there's a gold basically a lock it, which is this basically this type of style a locket styled LV logo on it let me just take the paper out and this these sandals are in a size 37 and a half this is the back of the sandals made in Italy 37 and a half 37 and a half with the LV ingrained in the back i don't know why this looks like a 97 and a half but it is 37 and a half and here they are i did try them on in the store but other than that i haven't worn them i did get them ordered because they weren't available at the store that i was purchasing in them at but they retail for 1180 canadian dollars before taxes which is honestly speaking quite a bit for um sandals but honestly uh, compared to basically I would say some of the other designer sandals that I own such as Hermes and things like that it is a bit of a pricier version in comparison to Hermes but then again there's pros and cons to both so the Hermes is a simple um, H cutout leather and basically we're paying for the brand um, on the other hand this is basically many different materials being used with the canvas which is one reason why i was uh, having doubts it is coated canvas but people have been lately complaining a lot about the louis vuitton canvas and how it's peeling and how the color fades and stuff like that but honestly that's about like handbags and stuff i haven't really heard much about damage on sandals but again it's sandals so if you wear them they are gonna have some wear and tear on them in my opinion so honestly what more can you do and it is coated canvas it looks honestly a bit shinier than the canvas on handbags and things like this so i honestly think that um that that was one of the reasons that was putting me off because i was scared that the canvas would have some issues but this is what it looks like from the side let me show you guys the other side and then another thing but then i realized okay honestly i love canvas i have a few canvas bags another thing um that actually really another pro so one that was one of the cons but now i decided it i am i'm okay with it a pro of the sandal that i really liked in comparison to the hermes orange sandals is the fact that it actually has some sort of um detailing on here that's not just a piece of um leather which is cut out which is this gold locket basically type of lv symbol logo here and it's actually like a 3d actual physical symbol on top of the shoe rather than just having a plain canvas which i actually like and appreciate this detailing actually is one of my favorite things about this sandal they do have another sandal that comes with just the big lv 
uh, similar to this but just a larger one without these side railings on it but I feel like that's just too a bit much for me I know people would say this is also much like you know the canvas and the LV on top might look a bit flashy or whatever but honestly it's not about that for me when I tried them on I, they're really comfortable so that's another thing I really like about these sandals I think they might be actually a little more comfortable than the Hermes Orient sandals they don't look like it but they actually are if you get the right size so on to that next point about sizing. So everybody that I asked, including all the sales associates and YouTubers and stuff like that that I do know that have this, these sandals said or suggested that I should I should size up because of how the, sh how the sandal is very narrow from the front um, compared to the orange sandal, which is basically a bit squared off. Or is it a bit squared off? Let me think. Basically, this sandal is way narrower than other sandals. So everybody suggests this to side up, size up, especially if you have wider um, feet on the top part, which is how my feet are. So I did size up um, quite a bit. I'm usually a 36 and a half slash 37, but for this, I did get 37 and a half. But then if I look at it, that's the exact same size in my orange sandals. So I really wasn't sure what people um, meant by like size up because honestly, I size up in every single sandal that I have. So I was maybe considering getting this 38, but I was like, I don't know. I've never like have a size 38 ever fit me. So sizing was a bit problematic for me, especially since I was ordering them online and they had none in store for me to try on and actually have an idea of what size may fit me the best. So that can be easily solved. If you do have these sandals in store, you can easily try them on, try on different sizes and see how it works for you. But the store where I was at did not have that option for me. So that was another thing that was putting me off. However, my sales associate did give me a suggestion if that ever happens to you guys, you can order two pairs um, which you think might close it might fit you the closest and then try them on and see which one is the best fit and then return one and keep one but I do know that's not an ideal situation for a lot of people um, to you know purchase literally two sandals I did not end up ordering two sandals like my essay has had advised me to I just went with my gut and ordered the 37 and a half and honestly it fits perfectly and by perfectly I mean like literally perfectly my my feet literally are like literally right here and there's very little space at the back which doesn't mean that's a bad thing but I usually like having a bit more space in the back of my sandals especially sandals not shoes and stuff like that or running shoes or sneakers but sandals I do like having a little bit more space especially because you're walking in them and moving around in them and if they're too close to the edge while you're walking sometimes your fingers like move or your toes or whatever move backwards and basically your heel sticks out if there's not enough space at the back so that's another thing but honestly all those things are very minute details for me but might be very big uh, might be a very big thing for other people especially if they're spending a thousand plus dollars on Canadian dollars on a, on a sandal so I thought I would mention all these things that may be um, a concern to other individuals like it was for me but honestly I was able to overlook all those concerns because honestly I really really liked how they looked on my feet this is actually my first Louis Vuitton sandals that I have so I mean as a first Louis Vuitton sandal I wanted to go iconic and gold I love gold I'm a more of a gold hardware type of person rather than silver sure this is leather and it's actually very comfortable it does have a like a I, don't, I wouldn't call it a heel but it does have a slight platform on the bottom just like the orange sandals which I appreciate rather than it being completely flat which makes it very hard for you to walk on so these are actually really comfortable to walk in I did do like a whole walk for like good five ten minutes in the store I know that's not enough to judge a sandal on how it would be long term in long term walks but again these kind of sandals aren't meant for long term walking like for walks their specific shoes for runs their specific shoes these are literally just for fashion and style however comfort is a big big thing for me in sandals and shoes um i get easily like uncomfortable i get rashes on the side of my feet if i wear sandals that are uncomfortable stuff like that blisters and stuff so comfort wise i honestly really really enjoy these the canvas is actually not hard or harsh at all from the inside because the inside is smooth leather. I don't know if you guys can see that. Just the outside is canvas and inside is just like a smooth leather 
here you guys go i don't know if you can see it but it's a plain black smooth leather which makes and it's soft it's pretty soft leather with com in comparison to the hermes orange sandals they're they i think they use the same material on the outside and the inside but this inside has a smoother leather compared to the canvas so when you actually wear them it's actually super super comfortable to wear so that's one thing that i actually really enjoyed about these sandals and decided to basically go for them for now that's all i have to say for these if you guys have any more questions regarding these sandals or how they may wear over time and how i i will uh pair them and how i might style them then feel free to leave a comment down below and i will answer those questions or make a whole new video for you guys they do come in two separate dust bags just like hermes sandals do but honestly speaking overall great experience and a great vibe for my first pair of um, Louis Vuitton sandals. So I do see myself wearing these quite often, especially in the summertime, just, you know, just going on errands and stuff like that. You can, I would be able to maybe even dress them up with like a long maxi dress or like a, even a short dress, anything. These would look cute and perfect, if, especially if you have matching um, canvas accessories to go along with it, like an Alma BB or like a, uh, Pochette Felici, anything in the monogram print with gold hardware paired with this would look amazing. It, it doesn't even have to, you don't even have to have anything else. You can just wear these on their own with a full black outfit or plain white outfit, a brown outfit, a beige outfit, basically all neutrals. Maybe even a pop of color, it would look totally fine in my opinion. And overall, I do recommend these sandals for anybody who is looking to get a cute Louis Vuitton pair and uh, is in the budget and is willing to spend the amount that these are priced for in canadian dollars which is above a thousand so yeah that's everything for today i hope you guys have a great day and enjoyed this video peace